subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about designing, and implementing a data science solution on Azure, DP100 exam. This exam has occupied the mind of IT generation. The future of machine learning is something, that is beyond imagination both in terms of technology, and fortune. Every organization now requires professional candidates, that can handle the machines professionally, and are effective in managing operations, whilst reducing time wastage. What is designing, and implementing a data science solution on Azure exam? The Azure data scientist applies their knowledge, of data science, and machine learning to implement, and run machine learning workloads on Azure. This entails planning, and creating a suitable working environment for, data science workloads on Azure, running data experiments, and training predictive models, managing, and optimizing models, and deploying machine learning models into production. Now, let's discuss about the exam details. Name of the exam is Designing, and Implementing a Data Science Solution on Azure. Code of exam is DP100. It has 40 to 60 questions. The format of questions is multiple choice, multiple select, case studies, and fill in the blanks. Its costs around $165. Duration of the exam is 180 minutes. Languages available for the exam are, English, Korean, Japanese, and simplified Chinese. Passing score is 700, on a scale of 1 to 1000. Contents are as follows. First, registration policy. Second, Microsoft DP100 exam result policy. Third, DP100 exam retake policy. Fourth, syllabus details. Fifth, preparatory resources. Let's talk about each content in detail. Registration Policy First, go to the Microsoft site, and find your certificate in the list. Then select Schedule Exam, to register. Second, if the certificate will be available for your country, then you will be able to select the exam during the registration process. Third, you will also select the language of the greeter, proctor, and proctoring software. Microsoft DP100 Exam Result Policy In order to pass the exam you have to score. 700 out of 1000 points however if you did not score 700 marks that you will not qualify the exam dp 100 exam retake policy first if you are unable to pass the exam in first attempt then you must at least wait 24 hours before retaking the exam you cannot retake the exam if you achieve a passing score second if you fail to pass the exam in second attempt too, then you must wait for a period not less than 14 days, in order to retake the exam. This is the same process for the failure in third, fourth, or fifth attempt. Third, you will not be allowed to give the exam, more than five times a year. This year, 12 month period starts on your failure, on fifth attempt. If you wish to give the exam more than five months a year, then you have to contact Microsoft. Syllabus details. Domain one, Set up an Azure Machine Learning Workspace, which comprises of 30 to 35% weightage in exam. Domain 2, run experiments, and train models which comprises of 25 to 30% weightage in exam. Domain 3, optimize, and manage models which comprises of 20 to 25% weightage in exam. Domain 4, deploy, and consume models which comprises of 20 to 25% weightage in exam. We will discuss about each domain in detail. Domain 1, Set up an Azure Machine Learning Workspace, which comprises of 30 to 35% weightage in exam. It can be understood in three parts. First, create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace. It has three subparts. Number one, create an Azure Machine Learning Workspace. Number two, configure workspace settings. Number three, manage a workspace by using Azure Machine Learning Studio. Second, manage data objects in an Azure Machine Learning Workspace. It has two subparts. Number one, register and maintain data stores. Number two, create and manage data sets. Third, manage experiment compute contexts. It has three subparts. Number one, create a compute instance. Number two, determine appropriate compute specifications for a training workload. Number three, create compute targets for experiments and training. Domain two, run experiments and train models which comprises of 25 to 30 percent weightage in exam it can be explained in four parts first create models by using azure machine learning designer it has four parts number one create a training pipeline by using azure machine learning designer number two ingest data in a designer pipeline 
Number 3, use designer modules to define a pipeline data flow, Microsoft documentation. Number 4, use custom code modules in designer. Second, run training scripts in an Azure machine learning workspace. It has four parts. Number 1, create and run an experiment by using the Azure machine learning SDK. Number 2, consume data from a data store in an experiment by using the Azure machine learning SDK. Number 3, consume data from a dataset in an experiment by using the Azure machine learning SDK. Number 4, choose an estimator for a training experiment. Third, generate metrics from an experiment run. It has three parts. Number 1, log metrics from an experiment run. Number 2, retrieve and view experiment outputs. Number 3, use logs to troubleshoot experiment run errors. Now, fourth, automate the model training process. It has four parts. Number 1, create a pipeline by using the SDK. Number 2, pass data between steps in a pipeline. Number 3, run a pipeline. Number 4, monitor pipeline runs. Domain 3, optimize and manage models which comprises of 20 to 25% weightage in exam. It can be understood in four parts. First, use automated ML to create optimal models. It has seven parts. Number 1, use the automated ML interface in Azure Machine Learning Studio. Number 2, use automated ML from the Azure Machine Learning SDK. Number 3, select scaling functions and pre-processing options. Number 4, determine algorithms to be searched. Number 5, define a primary metric. Number 6, get data for an automated ML run. Number 7, retrieve the best model. Second, use hyperdrive to tune hyperparameters. It has five parts. Number one, select a sampling method. Number two, define the search space. Number three, define the primary metric. Number four, define early termination options. Number five, find the model that has optimal hyperparameter values. Third, use model explainers to interpret models. It has two parts. Number one, select a model interpreter. Number two, generate feature importance data. Fourth, manage models. It has three parts. Number one, register a trained model. Number two, monitor model history. Number three, monitor data drift. Domain four, deploy and consume models which comprises of 20 to 25% weightage in exam. It can be explained in four parts. First, create production compute targets. It has two parts. Number one, consider security for deployed services. Number two, evaluate compute options for deployment. Second, deploy a model as a service. It has three parts. Number one, configure deployment settings. Number two, consume a deployed service. Number three, troubleshoot deployment container issues. Third, create a pipeline for batch inferencing. It has two parts. Number one, publish a batch inferencing pipeline. Number two, run a batch inferencing pipeline and obtain outputs. Fourth, publish a designer pipeline as a web service. It has three parts. Number one, create a target compute resource. Number two, configure an inference pipeline. Number three, consume a deployed endpoint. Now, let's talk about preparatory guide. One, the official site. Two, self-study strategy. Three, books. Four, practice papers and sample tests. Five, online trainings and instructor-led training. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.